They say the only constant in life is change, and any sailor will tell you that it's especially true when it comes to the weather. Just the other day, we caught wind of another depression forming off the Pacific coast of Mexico, which is a sort of breeding ground for hurricanes this time of year. So we made the call to seek shelter and set sail for the nearest hurricane hole. A lot of red on that screen. Well, we've been watching this uh, tropical depression start to organize off the coast south, and it did form into a hurricane. And uh, now it's pretty close. Forecasted hurricane or something. So we're just starting to feel the edge of it right now. Ah, get away from me, freaking flies. Oh. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to my latest office, a string of many. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy morning just trying to get connected. Turns out that the Marina Wi-Fi admin has forced YouTube into safe mode on the whole network, which means that I am not even able to watch our own YouTube videos, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but it's also a good opportunity to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which just so happens to be NordVPN. So we've used NordVPN for over a year now. They have 5,600 servers in 59 different countries. It's really easy to use and once connected, it creates a virtual private network or a VPN that tunnels and encrypts your traffic. This means that Prion Eyes, not even the Marina Wi-Fi admin, can tell you what you should or shouldn't be watching. Plus, the speeds are blazing fast and it works on all major devices. So for an incredible deal, visit nordvpn.com forward slash sailing svdelos. Right now you can get four free months off. Plus there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you really can't go wrong. Links in the description below. Thanks very much for your support by watching and now back to the show. I guess now we're just kind of waiting in here for this weather. We have another freaking named storm coming up. <laughs> I feel like there is blasting up this coast now and yeah, we decided to just kind of like come in here early, you know, and hunker down and we've tied up some extra lines and just um, hope that it's not gonna come too close to the coast, but I guess we'll see. So yeah, it doesn't look too nice on the weather forecast though. Off the Mexican coast, we are looking at a tropical storm that has developed. And it now is a hurricane off the coast of Mexico in the eastern Pacific, placing it 205 miles away from Zihuatanejo. And I guess as soon as this have kind of passed through, we will continue north. So we're just kind of like jumping up. <laughs> I feel like we're like getting chased by these like named storms. Uh, up this whole coast really um, so not too ideal but I feel like we've been very lucky so far and hopefully this one shouldn't be too bad either so we'll see and so we sat poised in anticipation of what felt like the eerie quiet before the storm the question on our minds just how close would it come and how much wind would we see here in our little hidey hole
watching this uh, tropical, tropical, tropical depression start to organize off the coast south, and it did form into a hurricane. And uh, now it's pretty close, and I sort of like spaced it out. I was gonna put a bunch of vines on, you know? But I was on the computer all day. So now here we are, just a few more lines, you know? Yeah. I feel like the sound is the craziest. Yeah. I just like hate the sound of like the... I've seen if it's become a named storm yet. It, it is. I looked at last night. It's called like glass or something weird. Glass? And this is Tropical Storm Blas, and it will continue to strengthen, become a little bit more organized. Hurricane Blas. So as of right now, it was here. So it's, yeah. it's no danger to us, yeah, okay. really. I mean, this is what the track has been predicted since we've been watching it like last week. So where are we? We are right, right here. By Friday, it's just gonna start heading offshore. Yeah. So we're getting, what, 30 knots sustained right now? Yeah. So we're just starting to feel the edge of it right now. And according to GFS, it's seeing 50, 60, no, yeah, 64 knots on the, that side. So yeah, I was just looking at the wind meter and I saw a couple of gusts like mid 30s. And then it went to 39, and then while we were outside, I'm pretty sure there was a couple of, like, low 40 knots in there. Um, yeah, it's blowing out there. If it's blowing out in here, imagine what it's blowing out there. We're protected by a mountain here, which is what makes this place a really good hurricane hole. So we're protected by the resort over there, and then a mountain over there. Forecasted hurricane or something. Yeah, it's like a super hurricane off guard. Like, <laughs> be aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Yeah. captured on video and I'm sorry I laughed but when you were trying to tighten that cleat and you ripped the cleat out of the dock and I... almost fell back into the water it was probably the funniest thing I've seen all week <laughs> um, which know. is why we've tied off to some of these poles here yeah just like we've a got lot. some crucial lines onto the poles and we spread the load up around a bunch of cleats so we're not depending on any one yeah yeah it's oh. blowing though yeah So this is why we left Seatown. Ooh! Yeah. yeah. That's exactly why we left Mama. Hi. And yeah. then it's another Ooh. one forming down here, There's right? Another low coming through. So if you look at this, watch how it moves. Ooh. And they all, like, this sort of season kind of follow this, this path, like, Mama. offshore west a little bit. So when so we that, keep going, we got to kind of, like, stay in between them. Two days from now. And then you can see, look at the Tuanapex start ripping because there's another low down here. So if we don't go on Saturday, then we really have to wait until like maybe next Wednesday or something. Well, it's probably for the best. We have so much yeah. <laughs> going on. We'll Got be like things we're working on. boat, boat uh, lockdown, boat jail for a few days. amazing sunrise it's our last day bar navidad and um there's a really fun surf break that's just like out here and around the corner and 
it wasn't really working when we first got here, but then with the hurricane, there was a lot of swell. So I've been having a lot of um, really fun surfs there in the last days. So we're gonna leave in a few hours, but I wanted to get up early and get in one last little session. So let's get on board, open the dinghy, and head out that way. See you when I get back. With Hurricane Bloss now headed offshore, we jumped at the first opportunity to get off the dock and back on the hook, even if only for a couple of days. on fuel. We've been motoring quite a bit lately. Yeah. Uh, all those light patches coming up from Chiapas. So we've used uh, about 500 liters of diesel, which is a little over 100 gallons. Yeah. It's really not that much if you think about what it takes to move like a 20 something ton boat <laughs> through waves. And, yeah. You know, making our own electricity, our own water, everything. It's still less fuel than I used to use in my car just going back and forth to work every month. That's crazy to think. I know. This will last us another couple months. How much was it? 14,000 pesos, including the uh, credit card fee. 14,000 pesos, and so what is that? And we filled up the dinghy and the main boat, so it's about 700, 700? 750, yep. or 600, something. It's not that expensive. It's here, it's about uh, 23, 0.8 pesos per liter, uh, which makes it about uh, five five dollars a gallon. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah, we've seen worse. We've seen much worse. Googled the surf there the other day, and what was the second result? It was a blog I wrote 12 years ago. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty funny. And I read my own blog, and I was like, oh, that sounds like a pretty cool place. I think we should go there. <laughs> Sweet, sounds good. How many miles are we going today? Uh, 11 miles. Not very far. Cool. All right. Hopefully we'll be there soon. And hopefully it's not too rolly. Fingers crossed. Familiar in here? 
Yeah, I've been here before. <laughs> I remember there's a beach where you can flip your dinghy over here. And there's a little uh, dinghy mission where you can almost get eaten by crocodiles over here. What kind of dinghy did you have when you left? A real shitty one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of palm trees. I like this little area over here. It's just like full desert mountain background and then a line of I know, perfect. So planted. Okay. All right, made it to the town of Katita Beach. But look at there's breaking waves. So we anchored the dinghy out. We're gonna swim through the surf. Yay! Okay, we're done with this. <laughs> nope. Are you ready, Nux? Costa Rica. You ready? Okay. <laughs> Mommy's gonna go first, and then we're gonna follow her. Okay? No way. And I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> Pretty good. It's a pretty tranquilo spot. It's nice spot. Yeah, it's just nice to get off the boat for a little bit and just hang out at the beach. Yeah. There's the third system of the season coming. Looks like it will be getting close to us in three days. Our great escape from the marina was pretty short lived. <laughs> <laughs> we get three days. We yeah. Get three days between hurricanes. Jeez, that's crazy. Just rolling through. Is yeah. that like typical? Or? I've never seen them come so often. So. Well, that's a big red patch right there. Yeah, I mean, it looks more crazy than yeah. it is. It's like 30 knots, yeah. right? So it's not a it's not a huge one, but this is uh, right now we're yeah. about right in here. And yeah. so what I think we should do is just like chill and hang out here today, relax. Tomorrow morning we should move to the next anchorage up, spend the night or the afternoon and the night there, and then the following morning then we should make it to Puerto Larta and seek shelter. Just yeah. in case it gets stronger or veers our direction or something, we'll give ourselves a day or two lead on that way. Out here we live and die by the weather. We were literally being chased by storm after storm as we moved up the coast. And trying to stay one step ahead was exhausting. But that's part of this lifestyle that we love so much. So with only our anchor chain and our wits keeping us safe, we weren't going to take any chances. Up next on Delos, we head up river to see what we can find amongst the mangroves. <laughs> and we're forced to move once again as the systems continue to barrel our way. I'd like to check out this spot. It's called Calita Paricio. This is a crazy place. It's very it... rugged. Looks like there's a good world out here. Yeah? Yeah. Feels like we're cruising again. And are you ready for another segment of the Wild of Fame slash Shame? I am. Cover okay. your eyes, please. No, let me cover your eyes. I got it. Okay, little hand motion and boom. Oh. That's an interesting one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what an amazing photo. 
that is one of many, uh, many, many, many drunken, drunken, drunken nights with our COVID crew in the ragged islands. And uh, yeah, basically we were locked down with uh, eight really good boats and about 20 something really, really fun people uh, for what, almost two months? Yeah. And basically our lives consisted of spearfishing, swimming, taking walks and making moonshine on the beach. Yeah. Uh, and then drinking it <laughs> later on at night as conditions would allow. Uh, so who do we have in here? We've got Bill, we've got Grace, we've got Jera, we've got Steph, we've got Connor, uh, me, and you, and Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, from Zinsu. <laughs> That's it. Good times, awesome episodes too. Those are some really fun videos. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. That's it. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> This is a brilliant plan. <laughs> We're anchored next to Calicus, guys, and I see that Bill has his airdrop open. Okay, go more like like this, so it's more like a butt cheek, yeah. But then relax so that it's like plump, okay. Pull the hair out. And a pull the hair out. The tuft of hair. Yeah, good Okay, you got it? <laughs> She's losing it. Let me see. Let me see it. <laughs> Oh, it looks okay. disturbing. <laughs> Come on, accept, Bill. Accept. Unsuspectingly sitting over there in his own little boat, minding his own business. He's probably looking at it, trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs>